Beam partners with a global network of cloud and managed service providers in over 180 countries to deliver Veeam via an as-a-service model. Users of Veeam Backup and Replication can get started fast by using a built-in capability called Veeam Cloud Connect, which establishes a secure connection to backup as a service providers offering BAS for data centers, remote endpoints, and even disaster recovery as a service for your most critical workloads. In this video, we'll show you what the user experience would look like to send backup copy jobs to the cloud, execute a failover, and even get your remote endpoints connected. So let's take a look. But before we can get started with Cloud Connect, we need to find a provider. Access the Veeam Powered Services directory on veeam.com, filtering by the services and location in which you would like to use the services. You'll then see a series of providers you can get connected with, and let's go ahead and pick one so we can install this into our Veeam Backup and Replication server. We'll start by selecting the Add a Provider button. Through this wizard, we will be asked to enter the DNS and IP information, as well as your unique username and password. Entering this kind of credentials ensures that we establish a secure SSL TLS connection with our provider. After that, the wizard does the rest. Everything will get connected and you'll now be set up with a cloud repository. So now that we've successfully connected, let's take a look at what a backup copy job looks like. We'll start by clicking the backup copy job just as you would with a local backup. And we'll then be asked to select the objects we'd like to back up. So in this case, we'll just select one job, keep it easy. Where things get interesting is when you select the target. By selecting our cloud repository, you'll be able to see how much storage you have allocated, how many restore points you'd like to keep, and you can even select how many backups you would like to send, meaning how often. After that, you can establish any sort of settings you'd like for scheduling, networking, and that's it. It's just as easy as establishing a backup copy job locally. So now that we've set up a backup copy job, let's try something a little more advanced. Many of our providers offer disaster recovery as a service, where we fail over directly into the cloud. To do this, we need to start by setting up a failover plan. You'll want to name this something that becomes easy to find later on. You don't want to have to scramble. And then we'll go ahead and start to add VMs to this plan. So you'll select the Add VM button, aptly named. And under the job names, we're going to go ahead and select which of the replicas that we've been sending to our provider we would like to include in our failover plan. So in this case, we'll select these four. Within each of the VMs, you can select what kind of delay and priority you would like to set for each VM. This ensures that you're properly orchestrating the most important machines in the event of a disaster. And that's it. You've now established a failover plan with your provider. Now, you may be wondering what this looks like when you actually do execute a failover. So let's take a look and see what these four VMs do. I've selected our, our failover, and I'm now looking at the provider's cloud offering. You should see down at the bottom of your screen, some of these VMs are going to start to populate. So I'll go ahead and let a couple of these run, but then we'll do some movie magic and skip ahead. So you'll notice that we have two that have successfully set up, and I'll let the rest of those run while we hop back over to the Veeam Backup and Replication server to show you that our failover plan has completely executed. This gives you the confidence to know that your DRAS works. But speaking of confidence, let's wrap this up with something that may be new to your backup plan. Many endpoints are currently unprotected due to the complexity and cost it takes to run these services. So you may wanna work with a cloud provider and back up the entire computer, do file level, volume level, and ultimately point those backups to a Cloud Connect provider. These offerings ensure that you can keep your costs low when executing backup for endpoints. So just as we did before with data center backup, simply enter in the credentials that you need to establish and you're all set to go. It's so simple to use backup as a service for endpoints from one of our Cloud Connect providers. We covered several scenarios in that preview video of Veeam Cloud Connect, including backup as a service for VMs, remote endpoints, and even what a cloud failover looks like. So whether you're a current user of Veeam Backup and Replication looking to add cloud storage to your deployment, 
or you're new to Veeam and you'd like to consume it via an as-a-service model, I encourage you to point your browser to Veeam.com and check out our Veeam Powered Services directory to find a provider in your area and get started now. Thank you.